Okay guys, so today um, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the ignition coils and the spark plugs from this uh, E60 N62 engines and what are you all going to need? So I bought eight spark plugs. These are the NGK Laser Platinum um, number BKR6EQUP stock number 3199 you're going to need eight of those and I went with the Doralas ignition coil um, number C1638 and you also need some dielectric grease. Um, the tool you're gonna need, you're gonna need some form of a pipe for leverage, um, a magnet just in case something fell off. Um, these are 58 um, spark plug um, socket and extension. So these are 3 8 extensions. Um, the first, this one, has a 6 inch extension on it. And it has a rubber, the rubber um, garnet inside there. This one is swivel. This is a swivel one. Um, and it has a magnet. It has a magnet in the top of it instead of the rubber. You're going to need a... T30 torque, um, 10 millimeter socket, and an E7 socket, and a quarter inch socket, and a 3 8 socket wrench. Um, that is a quarter inch wrench, and um, a 3 8 wrench um, handle. Okay. So I went with this package because the dealer wanted uh, $105 for each coil, ignition coil, and um, they recommended um, Delphi instead of um, Bosch, but I decided to go with um, Duralast from AutoZone because it's a lifetime warranty. Okay, so to get started, you're going to... Oh, I forgot. So there are four um, bolts on top of the engine cover. They are T30. You need to remove all four of them. And then the side here, once you remove the top cover, then the side just popped out. Yes. So it's, it's not hard to do. So let me take all this off and then I'll get back to you and tell you what the next step. Okay, so... I was getting all the work and I, you know, I got in my car, I saw the engine and um, right away the check engine light came on and the iDrive display increased increase, um, emissions and um, so I mean I, I still drove it, it went in uh, limp mode and I drove it home um, kind of slowly but I got home and I checked the codes and there was a misfire on um, cylinder one and there was also a sub, sub check arrow so those are the two codes so I decided to um, change all the, the plugs and the coils these are my error codes um, got a misfire on cylinder one Okay guys, so now I took the engine colors off, both the top and the sides. Um, so there are two banks, bank one and bank two. Bank one is on the passenger side and they're numbered one, two, three, and four in the back. And, and bank two is on the driver's side and they have five and six and seven and eight in the back. Okay, the fire in order, fire in order for the N62 engine is 
one and five, four and eight, two and six, and three and seven. Okay, so you can start wherever you like, but um, the first thing I did was um, this. I removed their two 10 millimeter screws and this um, AC line here, the one and two. So you want to take those off um, and you want to kind of let it drop down. And then over on this side, uh, where the jumper cable is, just follow the line to the bottom there. There's a, a plastic screw in the bottom there. It's 10 millimeter, you want to move that and push the cable down so you can gain access to number eight. Okay, so, so um, each set of um, coil pack, in, um, ignition coil is um, connected with this um, clamp and it has that E7 bolt on there. So you gotta take those off. You just go around and take all four of them off. And you gotta make sure you don't drop it in the engine or else you're gonna need the magnet. That's what the magnet is for, just in case you drop it. Yeah, um, I replaced mine. These are all new. <coughs> I bought them on the dealer. They were like two bucks each. <coughs> so you wanna take off the clamps on both sides. And then <coughs> you just wanna pull up on each um, ignition coil and just pull it out so um, as far as the the spark plugs okay so five and six and seven is pretty much easy to get out with just um, the straight um, extension with the 5.8 spark plug um, socket on there but when you get to number eight, you're gonna need a swivel five eighths um, with an extension spark plug because it's very tight to get into the hole to get the sparks plug out. And of course, you gotta remember to remove that nut that hold the jumper positive cable. That's the only way you're gonna get it out. You have to remove that nut and push the cable away. Okay, so when you're gonna remove um, cylinder spark plug and cylinder uh, seven and eight. Um, you need to um, discon disconnect the heater control valve right there. There's just uh, the wiring harness. Uh, you want to press on the side and pull it up, and then on the heater control valve. You want to um, lift it up. It's, it sits in two little slots. Just lift it up and just push it down out of the way to get to cylinder seven. And then in the back there, cylinder eight, this um, jumper, um, the positive um, jumper cable there, you want to remove a nut that connect the cable to get out cylinder 8. The nut is in the back there, it's hard to see. Also you're going to need some form of light to see the whole cylinder, to see cylinder um, 8 because it's pretty dark. When you're trying to get a spark plug there, it's very dark. Even when the sun is out, it's pretty dark. So, yeah. So, remember, take the Control valve, either control valve out and disconnect the cable and the positive jumper cable there. And you're good to go. And when you're done, just reconnect it. And on this side, on bank one, on the passenger side, yeah, like I said, you have to remove the AC line here. And he um, pretty much pull, on, pull up on the ignition coil and get it out. You also need a swivel um, spark plug extension to get down in there to get the spark plug out. Once um, you get it all done, you just put it back all together and you're done. That's it. Hope this helped man. Okay.
So here are my error codes, 2742, present DME misfire detection, cylinder 1, and 274E, present DME misfire detection, some check error. Um, so I replaced everything, so now I'm going to clear these codes, start it, and see if it 